Some people struggle with cutting out perfect six-pointed snowflakes, but I'm gonna show you an easy way that you can do this yourself. So um, all you're gonna need is a scissor and some paper, but let's take a look at a snowflake and see why it is a little difficult for people. So if we go from point to point on a snowflake and you use a protractor, you can see that it is exactly 60 degrees. And that's not a natural fold. It's easy for us to fold things in half, but folding things in thirds can be a bit of a challenge. So you could start with um, a regular piece of copy paper um, and it could be a rectangle, but we need to get it to a square. So what you do is you fold the short side to the long side. And then you cut off any extra and that will get you to a square. So we just take this and we go ahead and cut along that line. So I've got some squares already cut, so we can do this fairly quickly. And you might need a pencil the first time you do this, uh, so you can make some marks, but after you get used to it, all you need is to see the little fold pinch marks. So we're gonna take this and fold it in half from corner to corner, and you wanna be as precise as you can. And then we're gonna take this, and we're not really gonna fold it in half, we're just gonna pinch it in half. So I'm gonna take one side to the other, and I'm gonna give it a little pinch down here and open it up. Now I'm gonna mark this with a pencil, just so it's easy to see on the camera, um, but you could do this without. The next thing we need to do is find the center of this side. So we're gonna go ahead and move that bottom corner to the top, and again, I'm just pinching it. I don't really have to fold it and that gives me another reference mark. The last one is our most important reference mark. We're gonna take this corner and we're gonna fold it to that point. Take that corner, go to that point, and again, we're gonna pinch up here, and this becomes a really important reference point. Now all we need to do is we're going to fold along and create an edge that goes from these two points. So I just mark it here quickly. So we can hold our finger here to kind of hold that down. And we're gonna take this side and we're gonna fold it along that edge so that we're going from the bottom center to this mark. Then we could take this other side and fold it over to match the side next to it. And now we have a 60 degree angle uh, that goes across. So we have our third. We actually need to take this and fold it in half one more time so that we can create our snowflakes. All right. So the next step is to realize where the end of the paper is. So we can see here because there's that, you know, line going over here. We know that's that edge. The other one's kind of hiding, but you can kind of pinch the paper and see that it's going to be over here. If we cut beyond these lines, then the snowflake will sort of have some incomplete parts. So we need to always cut from below here. So what I tell uh, my students to do or what you would do is easily just kind of cut off that end. Then you won't have that problem. <clears throat> Next, what I would suggest you do, and you can do this with a pencil, is to create pathways in your triangle piece. And this is how a snowflake can look really um, dramatic. So what I would do is, you know, maybe draw a path that's going this way. And that end cut, I like to make it kind of dramatic. So I'll go ahead and cut inward, and then maybe a little, a little point here. So this part is gonna be cut off. Now on the inside, I'm gonna draw pathways, and I'm gonna pay attention to the edges so I kinda echo those. This will end up looking like kind of like a street map, I guess, uh, when you're all finished with it. So um, I'm gonna make these little pathways or like little roadways. Got a little corner here. Um, I'll make another one kind of come here. Down. One here. And I've got a lot of space here, so I'm gonna go ahead and make, you know, one more kind of in here. All right. 
So that's going to be the pattern, and you see they kind of look like pathways or roadways. Um, that gives you the crystalline sort of effect that we see in some of these snowflakes. So when I cut, I pinch down on my paper really hard so that the paper doesn't fan out, because paper does like to sort of fan out as you cut it. So you want to pinch it down. And another trick is to always use the inside edge of the scissors and not the tip of the scissors. So use the inside edge to cut. So I do lots of little cuts. Go along the edge and turn. And I'm pinching really hard so that the paper doesn't accidentally fan out. And I always start from the outside edge, the wide edge of the angle, uh, and then work my way in this direction. So again, pitch it really hard. Go ahead and do the cuts. And I always cut from the edge to the inside, and I turn and cut from the edge to the inside. And again, I'm just using those inside edges of my scissors. I went ahead and finished one for you, so you can see that this is that completed snowflake, and you can see those pathways. When we open it, you want to open it in half each time. So you open it up, and that's about oh, halfway, and you want to kind of flatten it each time you open it. This will give you a nice um, snowflake that won't rip while you open it up. So again, along the angles, I open it, and then I press down on those angles. Do it again. Press down on the angles. There's another fold. Open that up, little by little, press down, and then we open up our final snowflake. And if you're doing them by hand, you can see that every snowflake will come out differently and unique. Um, some will have points on them. You can have multiple points on them. Here's one that's a little bit more uh, open and rounded. And when the pathways sort of, you know, pay attention to each other, like I make this one go in and this one go in on an angle. Um, you saw that the pathways sort of meet at these like street corners. That seems to be something that helps out with these um, snowflakes. So give it a try. Make sure you like and subscribe to see more of my content. Thanks so much.